King Charles, FNYK, the flyest native you know. Capo, Capo, Capo. Charles F and YK. Uh, all my life I've been with intellect, but the flow is like incest with degenerates. Fucking stupid and fine of interest as I interject. I move walk in my booth footsteps when I'm on set. Smooth predator boarding the mothership of conquest, cause I'm next. I'm sorry if I'm too witty and a screw loose, so try to fix something to do with me as I cruise the beat. With fluency of what's true to be And truthfully, I miss the way that it used to be You say you gifted, had to prove it, beat Set a date, step up to the plate and cease opportunity Let the viewers of the music see me pay Hip-hop gratuity as I chew the beat Influencing UMCs with microphone fever Married to the game with little intents and deliver As long as she act right and not like a diva A little less Cardi B and a lot more Aaliyah We'll see, huh? Sickened by this renaissance of skeezers Shit is not for me, bruh Yeah, I I wanna hit through some speakers, playing in some kicks on the sneakers. You dig? Uh, I'm going through the days where people test my gangsta just for a reaction. What's up, homeboy? You with me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I'll wait for a couple of folks. Come on, man. We start this thing off, man. We got a few folks in there. What's up, Kendrick Moore, man? He said, What's the deal? Jason Townsend said, What's up? Damn you. Man, I, can't, I can't see no comments, so I can't, I can't talk to y'all tonight, man. I, I can't read that. I'm on my phone. Okay. I, 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 I'll run the chat then, I guess, then, bro. Oh, damn you. <laughs> 10, 10, uh, 108 KS a do a locate from the bank video. You know what, man? You an expert at that bank fishing, man. You got any, you got any pointers on that? You think we can do a video on that, man? You want us to bank fish? No, he want to do a how do you locate fish from the bank? One of them type video. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, tell them about that bank fishing, man. If you, if, I'd rather do bank fishing at a pond than a lake. Like yeah. a pond, you, you can walk it. You can walk it. You can walk it. You can't walk mm -hmm. that lake, man. So, yeah, I know. I said, if you don't, if you don't bank fish, man, take it to a pond, man. It yeah, ain't hard bro. to locate. Mm-hmm. Tony Cole, what's up, bro? Jason Town. Jason Town say, say I got some of them O'Connor slabs Saturday night at Jason Towns and now on. He was out there limited out on them. I don't know. He ain't say he limited out. He said he went and got some slabs though. But you know what, Lo? You get them, you get them big enough, man. You ain't got to limit out, do you? Hell no. I would take <laughs> that size anyway. Uh huh. Well, Kendrick Moe said, did you get that message? Yeah, man, I'm a, actually, I'm going to drop that content in the video. You want me to drop that content, so I, uh, I'm i going to load it up, man. I'm just waiting for a couple of folks to come in, man, before we start our random session, man. I know uh, y'all ain't what seen that, our smiling that, faces in a while. What that guy Pat Patrick at? He's always be one of the first people over there, man. Well, you know, we kind of off schedule, man. You know, we normally do this on Thursdays, yeah. man, but, you know, this well, with this new... Well, uh, I, know I, Chris, I know I bought Chris going to miss it, man. <laughs> no. I talked to him the other night. What are you talking about? We want to go out there. We want to go out oh. there and do a little fishing. He, told me, he went out there last week. He said he, he caught a bunch. Of, he caught some fish, but he said a bunch of dinks, though. Oh, for real? Yeah. We got. We got. We got. We got to uh, show him how to figure them things out, man. Who we got on here? We got uh, Anthony Young. Say what's up, you bought you guys. I said what's up, bro. Derek Gear. Say boy, y'all some beasts. Oh, Jason say he got a limit, man. He say new light was working, man. He he come up with them new lights, man. Oh, but got there. What, what what they call y'all? Side shoes. 
I don't know if he got them side shoes though, man. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure they some side side shoes, man. That's pretty, Cause that's how if you if you if you going on eBay or uh uh um uh, Amazon, everything coming up side shooters, man. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know what? How you say? If you ain't using them right now, I don't know what you're doing with yourself, bro. <laughs> you pretty yeah, got yourself at a loss, man. Yeah, so do. Uh huh. Turn the thing down just smidge. Uh huh. Who we got on here? We got a uh, web web say what's up, fellas? Casey oh, Howell say. Casey say y'all still putting that work in. We, yeah, Jason I, I say been, yeah. I've been doing side shooters. I've been doing. I've been doing some pond fishing, man, for bad. I ain't. I ain't hit them craps and since last time these things go, uh Lil one and uh and, and sixteen said we went out there man. I ain't hit them craps since then. Well shit, I really don't call it. I caught more crappy than I did crap that day I night. So. Yeah. It was fun though, because I caught some but good you, boys. You know what, you complain about them fish, man, but you know them them fish eat good, man. A lot of folk wear them out, man. They'd rather have them with crap. I mean, I'm not complaining about it because they, they had some nice side. As long as they get fish, uh, I don't care. I, I ain't going to fight them big moles, man. Yeah. Oh, Jason said, uh, he said, yeah, he got them side shoes. He said, 200 degrees of light time four lights. <laughs> he lit up, man. He lit up. <laughs> oh, I got my boy on here, Jay Harvey. He said, he got some uh, side shoes and had two dozen keepers last Saturday. Look here, man. I'm, I'm feeling some type of way, homie, boy. I got to get on this water, man. What's up? See, I'm old school. I still run lanterns hanging off the side of the boat. I'm going to tell you right yeah. now, homie, boy. Kendra, I know you be putting that work in, but it's time to step that game up, man. Hey, it, it's, it's about working smart, not hard. Man, them, them side shoot yeah. light, bro. They yeah, do all the work for you. Game. Yes, sir. Hold this ball game. And they, they pretty much they make you safe at night too, man, because they so bright. Them boats can see you, man. Yeah, and you can ride. Like if it falls out there, you can ride with them on too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jason say he got two green drop lights too. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't, I'm going to tell you, man, I ain't, a, I ain't a fan of the drop lights, the green drop lights. I ain't, I ain't a fan of them. I mean, they work for drop, they work for Django up there in the front, though. Yeah, I mean, um, I put it in. Um, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, stand by for a second. I'm gonna reduce this down right quick. I'm gonna move this over here, and uh, that way I can see what's going on and I can read the chat at the same time. How about it, y'all? We're coming through pretty good, man. Give me a thumbs up. We're about to get ready to start this thing off, man. Y'all woke out there, give me a thumbs up, man. Let me know y'all with us. You ready and went to sleep on them, man? Put them thumbs up at. I mean, I mean in the chat. Man, I can't even tell, man. You know, I'm on my, uh, I'm on laptop. The, the chat full. I just can't tell who in here, though. Oh. I got a, uh, old Big Mission came and he say, so ask them what brand of lights they use. Side shooter. Okay, I got you. Casey Howell gave us a thumbs up. Jason Townsend gave us a th thumbs up. But you know what? I think he's talking about, you know, actual brand name. I, I don't even know the brand name of mine. Do you know yours? Hell no. I like that little motherfucker bright. I bought my little, I bought my little uh, lawnmower battery in the house. And I put the moors on there, foot riding and shine. I mean, my bad, me riding and shine the moors in my in my in my in my eyes. Uh -huh. say, the boy. Hey, kid, I, I got your message there, man. Don't go on eBay and get them, man. Go on Amazon, man. They so cheap, man. You can get like two. How much them like called that, all, bro? I think I got both. I think mine was like thirty-seven dollars for two. I'm talking about them thing got low wattage, man. I mean, they don't believe when I tell them that. Uh, Look, what kind of battery hooked up to them lights out there, man? A lawnmower battery? 
you put your lawnmower battery up and go all night with it. Small battery. Look, they cost twenty dollars, man. You go to Walmart, you get them little twenty dollar lawnmower batteries, and you hook them up. I mean, they last all night long, man. Oh, yeah, buy you about three or four of them, man. <laughs> hey, do like do like do like my boy Crib bought Crib bought the uh the lot for I think about the lot for eighteen though. Know? He bought eighteen though. Know? Good crazy man, what are you gonna do with all that light? <laughs> he said brother wanted it, so he asked me did I want it, son. Oh, okay. Oh, your boy Fantastic just came in now. Uh, Cree brand. He said Cree, Cree brand, man. If that's, I think that's the name Cree. brand of them. Cree. Yeah. Cree. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I think those are the kind I got, too. And, uh, I probably had those in my basket one, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Though. Yeah, Jason say, yeah, he's, I think he says $37 for two lights. Yeah, yeah. But you know what though? Y'all need to re y'all need to research a little deeper, man, because you can actually get the smaller side shooter lights. They just as bright, man. They got a lower wattage on them, and uh, they 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 cheaper than that. But that's the thing though. The higher you go up in wattage, the more they gonna cost. So I want I want a high wide I want a high wattage. That's why the one we got cost thirty seven dollars. But you know what though? If if you um. See, I ain't no fan of just spraying your light out around your whole boat. My thing is, uh, I find better success, man, just, you know, centralizing those lights. And uh, like I said, I put mine on my rod holder, so wherever I'm fishing it, that's primarily where the light is, you know. And um, uh, I think we do better like that. What you think, homeboy? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't with that hope making the whole boat bright because it's going to scatter the fish. So if you just put your boat two up front, two up back, and... and, and and figure out what it is, cause you know me, I adjust my, I adjust the lights on the boat. You know, you got to 14, uh, down to 12, and you know, I go from there, but if I have them on the side, four lights on the boat is enough, man. You know what, there's a lot of folk talking about those lights on here today, man. I mean, you must have had a discussion with somebody, man. You know, we talked about it the last time, you know, we'll be on here, but shit, dang, I, my bad discussion. But they, <laughs> They see how good we do with them on the boat, man. They know you a scam. <laughs> they see how they, they see how they see how good we do with them on the boat, man. So uh, everybody, so they, and they, they they always hear you holler fire shooter, so they change the game up, man. But they you know what though, you can get you you ain't really got to have the side shooter. They get they make cheaper LEDs out there, man. I just think the side shooters you really don't tell them. Look, you don't really need but one side shooter, and it cover your whole yeah, front end of your boat. See, my my mine ain't even side shooters, but they may just like the side shooters, so I'ma call them side shooters. Mm -hmm. I don't have I don't have mine don't shine out on the side, but they look just like side shooters, so I'ma call them side shooters. Hey, look, so get who on here, man? Who that? Pokey, man. Pokey, real name Derek. Somebody, <laughs> you about the boy you ran into out there with uh, Adriel? Yeah, my whole buddy. You know my 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 whole buddy Barber, man. Pokey. Yeah, yeah. I ain't even no poker real name, man. Let me stop, man. Put that man gummy name. Wait, he put it out there. That that pokey, y'all. What's up? I don't know what I'll get, man. Uh, you know, we changed up, man. You know, I changed y'all, man. So I ain't able to come on uh, for sure every Thursday night. So I say, if I'm going to be in time Wednesday and out of time Thursday, I just come on Wednesday. But if I'm time Thursday, I do it on Thursday, man. Uh, Last week, man, believe it or not, man, we started to come to you guys, man. And when I tell you everything that could go wrong went wrong, man. I don't know what where happened with these doggone electronic, man. I was messing up. Uh, Lope had some issue. I just told Lope, man, I said, we'll just come back at him on a, uh, on video. That's why y'all didn't see us last week, man. But we back stronger than ever. But uh, I was going to say something about the light, man. Your boy Lope brought to my attention say, hey man these guys keep asking about these light once you just go ahead and do a setup video for the light uh drop it on the youtube i said hey man how uh how ever say say less <laughs> <laughs> say less man i mean it's done so uh i don't know if you guys was following uh put that work in on facebook man but he was uh he was dropping all them dimes about, you know, how he's setting up the rods, you know, from scratch, man. So, all that content still hadn't even been dropped yet, man. It's, I'm telling you, man, if y'all know who put that work in, it's, 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 it's this guy right here. 
beside me that put that work in. I don't think yeah, I had explained that. For some reason, for some reason, they won't let me put. Uh, they won't let me put this dancing on there, man. Man, they, they hey, won't, you they know. won't let me put. They won't. They won't let me put this dancing on there, man. For some reason, I tried. No, maybe they like you advertising me. killing folks. I don't know. Yeah, they just. They, but they let me do it. Uh, uh, put that work in. Well, well that's your that's your call sign anyway. Yeah. Let me see what they're talking about here. Willie Gunn said, "Damn bug will run you out of the boat if you light it up too much." Oh, hey, hey, that's Willie, that's I'm gonna that's tell that's you right now, wide, that's just a myth, man. Take it, take that's it from me. Tell them they they go low. Tell them exactly how long it takes for them bug to go away. If we get out there and they get on a man, them them bug probably they probably be on our butt for probably about thirty minutes, man. After that, they gone. Like they gone. We flood. Like well, sometimes we just flood. Like they, it's eighty million now. But that thing, you know, they gone. Whether the wind come through, the temperature drop, they don't. They don't stay. I have never seen them stay longer than forty minutes, forty, forty-five minutes. And then you know, a lot of time when they die, we ain't even set up yet. So it actually don't even ball up, man. Cause by the time yeah. we get set up, they be gone. Yeah. Especially when you feel like the the temperature drop a little bit. And it, it start getting the air get a little cool at night, man. They they finna get up out of there. That's in the summertime. Totally. So if you guys don't know better, man, hey, don't let them discourage you, man. If you let them bugs run you out the water, you you doing yourself a disservice, broker. You missing some good fishing time. You missing time on a good night. Jake Hall say true. <laughs> he said, uh, Willie God said, I know they will leave, but uh, them thirty minutes be heck. LOL. <laughs> they do. They do, man. They do. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, we 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 just hang. We already anticipate them, man. But a lot of times he go to hit. He go to funny part, man. It don't be mosquitoes, be mayflies, don't it? Yeah, it don't never. They be don't even bite you. Yeah, they don't never be mosquitoes. You you be so worried about them going in your mouth more than you are, you know, biting you and stuff. So that's what I'm talking about. Hey man, let's get this thing started, man. We got a chat full of folk, man. All right, y'all. Here it is. As usual, man, we bringing y'all that sweet content, that that live, man, like we like to do. I'm your boy, Yavo, aka Django Three Thousand. Who I'm here with today? Nope. Let's put that work in this fast, man. Yeah, man. That's for all y'all that don't know us, man. If you guys are just joining, man. You see the live popping up on YouTube, and it's your first time joining, man. Hey, man, stay a while, man. We 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 like to talk. We like to give you guys uh, some no 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 how according to what we do. You know what I mean? You know everybody got a better way. I hear it all the time. Me and Lo were talking about today. Somebody always got a better way, and uh, and it really and it really don't be a better way. It just be a better way to them, a day yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 nobody, nobody can tell the better way. It just works for them. Yeah, but then they ask you how you catch something to fit. Then I just say, man, boy, how you say it, boy? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I do it like this. How y'all catch something, man? Kill yourself, man. Anybody talking, man? You tripping? That's how I be feeling sometimes. Case of how I say yeah, facts. Hey. Hey, what they say? What they say? Hey, man, I be killing them about doing this, but how y'all be doing it again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, miss say buy them nets. You know them boys went about them beekeeper hat. Woo-hoo. You know, uh, Mick bought them bee. You no, know, they bought them beekeeper hat a long time ago. Oh, you, oh, uh, your boy got one too. Uh, Mo fishes. Man, come on, they they showing they showing they uh amateur amateur <laughs> yeah. On, they said they can't, they can't take a few bugs, man. Hey, fight through that, man. Fight through it. All right, we got Diddy up here, y'all. Diddy said, I'm on the scene. Uh-oh, on. hey, last time Diddy did, did, didn't know how to type on him. You know, he, you know You're right. Diddy, no, <laughs> hey, now you know. You know what it was. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> Cuz called me, he said, hey, man, I don't know about that YouTube, man. I can't chat with y'all, man. I can't type. I said, hey, Diddy. You got to turn your screen sideways. <laughs> I said, you can't watch it. You can't watch it sideways. You got to turn it up right, and you can chat like that. He said, all right, I know. I see it work for him. Look at it. He on here. 
But uh, look here, man. Uh, we didn't want to be with you guys long tonight, man. Uh, we gonna sit here, we gonna rap, man. But uh, we didn't want to be here with you long, man. But uh, we got we got a couple of topics, man. We want to talk about today outside of the fishing report. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the fishing report over with, and then we can we can rap. What you say about that, homie? Run it. Okay, uh, fishing report. It looked like well, I'm just say Georgia. I don't know what you guys, you might want to chime in if you're from a different state. But for Georgia, man, uh, it's going to be a rainy week, man. I'm talking about it's going to rain all the way into the weekend. I think Saturday and Sunday is going to subside and it's going to be sunny. And uh, actually, I'm looking to fish sometime very soon, man. You know, I work I work a lot now, so uh, I'm going I'm to get in where I fit in. But I promise you guys, I'm going uh, I'm going fishing sometime this week, man. I, I can't promise you exactly what date. I may just take off a day and relax and just uh, go out there. I call my boss, man, tell him, hey, man, I need to, I need to run this thing, man. He understand. But uh, we're going fishing sometime in the near future, man. But I think the only clear day we're going to have is around this weekend sometime, man. So uh, uh, maybe, maybe geared towards that. Uh, if I can't get off, man. I'll just make it a weekday Monday coming up, something like that. I, I got I got some free time coming up in the near future, man. But uh, I'm doing a lot of work. But the fishing report is uh, it's gonna be very rainy, man. But here go the good part. What I'm gonna say, here goes the good part so far, thus far. It's been raining, man. But it hadn't been one of them flooding rainy, rainy weeks. Ain't that right, homie? Long as stay like that, the water stay pretty, man. So we good to go. What you think? I don't think I don't think no rain that hard. I think everything should be straight, man. Yeah, as long as we don't get all that runoff water and that mud, we should be okay. Uh, yeah, I think, that, I, think, I, think, I think everything should be straight. Yeah. So with that being said, if you guys can, man, get out there and fish, man. Uh, the brim, they off the chain right now. Well, I should say bluegill. I, what do you call them, bluegill or brim? It don't really matter, do it. Cause you know, that, uh, to me, a sharecracker is a brim, but uh, well, yeah, yeah, I, I grew up calling them brim, but you know, now everybody yeah, hyping on bluegill. Yeah, yeah, but they 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 vary in the way they look. That's why I say, you know, when I when I say when I think bluegill, I think them big them big black ones. You know what I'm saying? And brim yeah, be them little yeah. green ones. You know, but I think all of them the same thing. Sharecracker got the got the orange on them. Yeah, with that spot, that black spot yeah. on. Them. Yeah, 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 man. But the fishing report, man, get out there and catch it. Uh, we had several guys come in on the chat. Uh, Jason Towns and who else came in and said they caught. We had a couple of guys come in and say they wore them out Saturday, man. Uh, so if you guys were fishing last weekend, man, hey, y'all should have posted some pictures or something, man. Let everybody know what y'all were doing, man. And uh, you know, we got to get into the habit of doing, man. Not only uh, posting pictures on uh. A successful cat, but uh, show what you're using, man. Let's see what that tackle look like, man. I mean, we are a community, so let's share some info, man. If you guys are out there, I saw a video, man, recently, man. I ain't gonna see who it was, man, because uh, I talked bad about it, man. But the junk worked, you know what I mean? They was out there catching uh, crappy man with red wigglers, man. You ever heard that before, man? You know what? I probably not caught three crappy in my life off of. Worms and probably two offers from uh cricket, cricket, but if yeah, that's what I was saying. If that's, if, if that's what they used to, that's what they're gonna eat them. Well, oh, uh, I would have used shrimp first, you know what I mean? Nobody was in bracket water, they went out, you know. I, I would have used something before I used them worm, you know what I mean? But they caught a few, yeah. but you know, it wouldn't have been my, it wouldn't have been my choice of uh, uh, tackle. But, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go back to what you just said about showing and what you use. Yeah, we need to do that because when me and Chris talked earlier this week, I was telling him how I was, you know, I use smaller hooks, and he didn't believe it. He was like, I, "Do I always get gut hooks? No, I hook them in the top of the mouth." And then, you know, most people fish they wait like twelve inches away from their line from their hook. I fish like five inches away from my hook with my weight, so we need to we need to show them you know just the different out the, the different 
and people set up, you know, compared to yours, compared to mine, and let everybody show, you know, how, 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 they, how they how they deal. Did it say he got a boat stuck in in the backyard last weekend? Did it? I thought I thought that they had a truck stuck back there too. <laughs> you know why you got stuck, did it? You doing too much, man. Take a break, man. Good crazy, man. You doing too much work, man. Did it out there doing something in the backyard again, man. That's why he ain't got stuck. He probably out there tilling up a garden, man. Oh, Sammy, what's up, homie? I, I, I called you the other day. You didn't pick up. I guess you was at work. I been at work too, bro. <laughs> Let me let me let me let me put my ball on right quick. That's right. Game day jigs and fly. That's your boy down there in the comments below. Sammy Wright, propi proprietor of game day jigs and flies, man. Where you gonna get some of the best jigs and flies on the internet, man? So you know that's something to be said. Store is one thing, but the internet, man, that's that's a that's a bigger beast right now, man. But yeah, he putting that work in, bro. Y'all check him out. Facebook, game day jigs and fly, man. What's up, Sam? Let me see what did it say. Yep. Yeah, you're doing too much work, man. Take it easy. Well, you were actually out there. I saw y'all went y'all went uh Y'all went uh laking and stuff. Like it looked like y'all had some couples out there, man. Trump gonna lock y'all behind up. You know, told y'all about having fun out there on that lake. <laughs> Fishing only did it, not party. <laughs> did it at that party, man? Yeah, man. But uh, yeah, did they, they, they have some leisure time? Yeah, man. Hey, man, you got to do that sometime, man. You, you be on the road you somewhere. Can't take that boat out there and put them on them crappy though. You want to take that boat and put them on them crappy now? I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why my cousin don't want to do nothing like that, man. He want to go with us though. He want to go with us, so every time we throw one in the water, he can pick it up, put it in his neck on box. Hey, man, keep that for me. <laughs> Did it ain't going to throw nothing away. But, yeah, yeah man, that, that fishing report, man, was, uh, it's, 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 I'll just say it's moderate, man. Uh, get out there and fish, man. I don't think the weather's going to be so, so bad, but it is, it is forecast to be raining the rest of the week, and it's going to clear up this weekend. Um. Uh, we going this weekend, homeboy, one way or the other. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I tell them, man, if they feel like it's going to rain that day, go on out there, sit in the truck while doing that little sprinkle, and put that boat in as soon as it stops. And you're going to catch you some fish, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. But um, I think we're going to, what we going to do, man? We're going to uh, we gonna go up them blue gears, man, or uh, crappy, man. I know you want to get on them crap again. Uh, I, I said we uh, I said we go get on the crappers first, man. Then we hit them blue gear. I did go next day. How about how about we hit them like they hit them? They hit them like on a oh no, nah, can't do it. What? Like on the wind to third, man. Come on, it's gonna be raining. Oh, you talking about next week? Yeah, yeah next week. Man, I'm trying to go. Man, I'm trying to go sooner than that. I'm fiending, man. No, I'm about, no, no, I'm saying we're gonna hit crappy this weekend. Let's hit some bluegill next weekday. Oh, did you like hit out early that morning and go? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what's up. Ben said I'm going to have my backyard fixed next week, though. West Point Lake bites lights out. <laughs> I don't get. Is it lights out? Okay. Three colors year round. Say chartreuse and black. Cajun cricket and hot lips. Say, what about them bass? Did it, man? If you want a bass, man, we can put you on bass. Tell them, Lope. You get tired of fishing, man. You can hey. fish with a jig. You can fish with a minnow. You can fish bottom. You can fish on the bottom. In it, yep. minutes you want. Minutes you want, man. Yep. Take that. Take that spoon and jig the spoon. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, caught the uh, Instagram post, but uh, we took uh, young one out there, him and uh, 16. And uh, believe it or not, you know them skies ran into the side of my boat, man. I got a hole busting inside of <laughs> CK2, man. No, wreck my boat, man. I said, look, you know I ain't caught my insurance yet, there, uh, look. Hey, look, they, they wrecked his boat with his boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man but we went out there man and uh 
Believe it or not, man, uh, we caught fish. The crappy man, the big crappy, I should say, they were kind of far and few in between. But those big striped bass, I'm talking about anything you could throw out there. A jig, a minnow. I mean, that's all I fish with. I fish with them jig, and I fish with some minnow. I'm trying to figure out what color was I using. I think it was... It was a purple. It was like a blackish purple with the specks in it, with a short tooth tail. It was a grub type. I'm talking about as soon as you throw out that wop, gee, you know, I was uh I was throwing it out and I and I was sitting on top of a big ball of. If you guys ever see uh, striped bass on your uh, 2D, they look like a like a ball in the water, but you'll see like little breaks in it, and it it, it kind of puts you in the mind of a. What, like a little tree or something? And uh, they all group together. I'm talking about, I don't know what they at, man, but they just they just stay real tight. And what I was doing was I was throwing out with a jig and letting it fall down through them. And then once it once my line was straight up and down, I'd pop it up once or twice, and they was on there, you know. But uh, I just, I didn't want no striped bass. And it's like, all the reason why I was doing that because I had changed out my rod holders, man. Them things did not work, man. So I was out there jigging with one pole until I could fix that thing, man. But uh, the formula was what well, what we said it was uh, about twenty four foot of water, drop it all the way to the bottom. Yep. What we you say? Drop it all the way to. You said drop it. You came up with it. Said drop it all the way to the bottom, reel up three times, and then wait for that tug. I'm talking about with a minnow. If you see them, all right, say like you, if if we was at long show and we, we put in and um, you would see the fish, the, the smaller crappy around the thermocline, but you had bigger fish at the bottom. And those are the ones we were targeting. There was some big crappy down there, but for the most part, there were them stripes you had to contend with. I mean, boy, low cost some muscles, boy. <laughs> hey. Hey, I got excited when you brought a couple of them things in, but uh, all it was, man, they was on the bottom. We would drop all the way to the bottom as if we were fishing for catfish, and then we would reel up like three, maybe four reels, and there they would be, man. So if you guys are interested in catching some of those uh, hybrid, I should say hybrid bass, they weren't stripers, they were white bass. That's what we were doing, man, but we actually weren't out there bass fishing, but uh, we did have fun with it. And... Uh, that whole night was kind of a bust, though, right? Yeah, we didn't get on the water almost midnight. Man, it was almost it was a lot of we got on the boat to even crank the boat up. Yeah, man. So we 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 didn't struggle. We had fun, man. But I didn't have time to to get where I wanted to go. We were actually going to this place called the Hall Pen, and uh, by the time we got in the water, we just didn't want we didn't just, we just didn't want to put. Uh, he wanted them in that kind of situation to try to take that boat ride at that time of night. Yeah, come yeah, aboard and we're kind of struggling a little bit. They caught on, man, but they needed a lot of late to get a hold of that thing, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I didn't want, like Lowe said, I didn't want to take them all the way around to the spot because we had we had the, the place we went to first. That's what started the whole fiasco. We had plans to go to this spot, but by the time I got those two skies lined up to go, Man, what time we was at the store? Almost 10 o'clock? Yeah, because we went we live that night. We had to call them because they were about to close. Yeah, yeah man. 3,000 3, 3, even over that late. I didn't even know that late, but we were waiting on them. And uh, by the time we got over there to the boat dock, the dock was closed, man. So we had to turn around yeah. and make make our way to another one. We oh, lost we so to, much we time, man. We were trying to get on Lawrence Show, we? we were trying to get on Lawrence Show, Yeah, Lawrence Shows. Yeah. Jason Towns say Saturday I was marking fish at 12 and shallow, starting dropping about 15 feet and started catching the bigger fish on the bottom. There y'all go right now. He done gave y'all the recipe. What did he say? Uh, 12, 12 feet of shallow, man. So y'all might want to try that. Uh, what's what's it? Let me, let me see if I'm going to go back in the chat a little bit. Uh, my boy, what what his name? Uh, yeah, damn you, uh, one oh k, one oh eight kl. I don't know who who you off um by your uh, your tagline, but uh, 
he was asking about how to find these fish out the bank. Well, um, uh, you probably need to go and hit that bank now because uh, Jason was just reporting that uh, he was catching them very shallow, man. So throw that thing out there far as you can, man, with a cork, man. See what happens. Right, right yep. now, right now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the fish is coming. They, them fish coming up. Cause that sun ain't beaming, so they're gonna come up to a a a, 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 a shallower depth because they ain't got to fight with all that sun right now. So I'm pretty sure you probably can troll through some some shallow water right now and get right. You wanna go troll them, man? With, with the with the, with the overcast it being lately, it's a good time to catch some fish in, that, in, in some shallow water, man. You hear what I said? <laughs> Let go for it, man. No, oh, man, you don't want to troll. Let's do it. What's the name? Say he was out there catching. Who? Derek Fulton. He said, yeah, uh, he, he, he was still nice catching. Fish, yeah, he's pretty big, too. Who we got he on here? Uh, Romero Davis said, What up, them boys? Say, I caught a few till I got rained out. Thanks for all the great info. Hey, man, appreciate it. That's what we're here for, man. To drop them nuggets, man. Being here said, Cuz, when are you going to come to my house and put in? And find me a good spot to fish. Lo, when I tell you, Diddy got a boat ramp by his highest man. Yeah, it looks so do. good, man. It looks so good. I told him we I was gonna come out there and drop that live scope in that wall just to see what's in there. But bro, I say come out there about nighttime. Did it? All did it need to do, man? Cause when you when you come off his boat duck, you can see trees in the water right there. He need to put in to ease up on that with that trolling motor. When they start getting dark, turn them lights on, man, and just fish to his heart's content. Tell them they coming. They're going to come with them lights. They're coming. Yes, sir, man. But uh, that's our fishing report, man, tonight, man. It, the, the fish are doing, uh, from, from the reports for the guys that's been on the chat, man, the fish are biting well, man. So if you guys are uh, trying to go out there and put that work in, man, uh, any day will be a great day to go out there and try them, man. They say they bite. But uh, right it's something else, man, I want to bring to you guys' attention, man. Uh, man, I saw something game day say, no, it's the same to me. <laughs> yeah, you working the weekend now. I work, uh, I don't have all day no more, Sammy. I work uh, whenever my train goes out. It's like I'm on a extra board. You know, whenever they call me, that's when I go out. So primarily I'm in. In and out. I'm like I'm in this day, I'm out the next day. In this day, I'm out the next day. Sometimes if they have an extra train come out work every day. So I'm I'm out there pretty much twelve hours every time I'm working, man. That's why when I called you, I, ca I think I called you back late, man. I, I figured you weren't going either I called you back late or I called you back early that morning, you probably was at work. Uh the big report can't catch them sitting on the couch, got to get out there. That's right, you gotta get out there and catch them things. Uh, C219 trolls say trolling still great on, on Clark's Hill, man. So if you got there, you get that you have you, you Clark's Hill area, you get out there and troll them fish, man. Like you say, look, say a lot of forecast. I mean, like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, overcast. Cloud, yeah, overcast out there, man. So the fishing might be all right, bro. Yeah, but. I want to bring something to you guys' attention, man. I was on YouTube, man, and I saw some. You know, we call DB crappy fishing and outdoors, right? So we 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 delve into all this different stuff. And I saw a video, man. I couldn't believe this crap till I saw it, man. So I'm gonna let it play in the background, and I'm gonna kind of like bounce off for a little bit. And I want you guys' opinion, man. I'm not even gonna really say what it is. I just want to hear what you guys got to say, man. You, if you guys can. Can hear this stuff, man. If you if you can see that title, let me know, man. But watch this video with me, man. A, a little bit of it, I should say. I want you to I want you to check this out. Brandon Hammertree, why do y'all prefer O'Connor over Sinclair? I we don't, man. Just we um, I Sinclair love always Sinclair. muddy, man. I love I love Sinclair. Sinclair got some more stuff. I want y'all guys to see this. Food. Guess which is their first? Bear meat. And they didn't get a bear. Uh, as I'm filming this, the bear season's closed. 
we weren't successful doing that. So they do baiting. Uh, it's really the only way you're going to get a bear. Uh, see how dense the forest is? It's hard to see anywhere in it. And bears are pretty, I mean, they're smart, right? They're smart like every other animal. So they're not going to put themselves at risk for no reason. Anyway, so I'm going to run some clips now of the trail camera over the mock scrape here. Here's the mark. Uh, so I ended up getting three I'm gonna, garbage. I'm going to scroll through it a little bit because I want to get to the point. I want to I wanna see. Know, maybe 70 to 100 yards. I don't know. I'm just guessing, right? And pace it off. You need to have to break into a 100 of them. The coyote. <laughs> <laughs> I came out over here. This is what I want y'all to check out, man. <laughs> but had a, a rabbit in its mouth or something. And uh, it was on a little bit of a trot. I missed it on its first shot. <laughs> it was booting it over this way. <laughs> Bear rolled it. <laughs> it was dead just out here. Well, guys, it looks like that's it for the deer. Not moving this morning. Um, I see out in the field where a coyote dropped something. So I'm curious to see what it is. We'll take a walk over there and check it out. And I'll figure, figure out what we're going to do with the coyote. I definitely want to give it a taste. Um, I've eaten a fox before. You guys have seen that video, I'm sure. Catch and cook fox. So. I actually thought it was going to be horrendous, and I, it's the spice I taste. It's, it's <clears throat> because it's seasoned. It's 100% fantastic. It is, like if you serve this to people, they'd be like, what is that? That's awesome. I'm right? going to stop it right now, man. Okay. <laughs> I watched this video, man, and uh, really I want to bring it out to you, man. This dude... Kill a coyote, man. And uh, him and his homeboy sitting in the living room, man. They done cooked this thing up, man. And they sitting there talking about eating a coyote, man. Like it wasn't no thing to it, man. And I just wanted to come on here, man, just for a small period of time. Just to wrap, just to see what you guys' opinion is about eating coyote, man. Look, you got the flow, bro. I'm, I'm going to say this right here. Y'all do know the nickname for a coyote is dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I believe you that day. They call coyote dog. Listen, man. A coyote is a dog, man. A coyote can breed with a dog, man. And my thing is, when we start eating dogs, man. Dude. I ain't eat mine. <laughs> I, I look at mine. I look at mine a whole different way. I like. I I love my dog. Yeah, I love my dog love too. I ain't never looked at that pepper and like, damn, you look delicious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I look at pepper and like, man, get out of here. You know what I mean? Hold on, say, hold on, say, say, say your magic word again, y'all. Which one? Delicious. <laughs> oh, that's 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 that professor word. Delicious. Man, I ain't never looked at no dog and been like, man, that look delicious. Dude. This dude sitting at a table, man, eating dog, man, and making it like it's normal, man. I'm, I'm saying to myself, man, that ought to be kind of illegal, man. What you think, man? Man. Eat it all, but I ain't eating no coyote, man. I ain't eating no fox. They can have it. Hey, right, hey, hey, your, your butt fantastic, man. Get your butt fantastic, see it. Oh, he said he, say he eat coyote and he can't fish. <laughs> 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 My man, that's what I'm talking about, man. Get out there and catch some fish. What you eating a dog for, man? Say they are out of their mind. Our Burton say, man, they out of their mind. He say. They must think they in China, man. I don't know where they think they at, man, but I tell you something, man. Coyote ain't never, ever, ever, ever been on the menu, man. So, never. why we eat dogs, man? I, try, I eat some coon, I eat some squirrel, I eat some rabbit. I ain't eat no dog. I look at it like right here. If it got sharp teeth in his mouth, it's a predator, man. You do not eat them animals, man. <laughs> Leave them alone, man. I, I can see you going you trying to kill a coyote man cause they out there bothering you, you know, your animals and stuff cause they will kill 
your cats and dogs, if you got a little dog, they will do that, man. But yeah, even them after you them kill them, man, what in the world? I said to myself, man, I want to see what them boys say about this stuff, man. Uh, I was looking at it, man. I'm saying this joke got like a hundred thousand views of people watching this video. I don't know if they watching because they just interested to see him eat it. I don't know if they clickbait. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what what drove him to make this video, man. But here it is. He actually don't hear anything, man. Matter of fact, they on the talking about it was delicious. <laughs> I would have said that a lot, huh? They trying to make they trying to make it feel like it's the next great the next the next uh uh great thing to eat, man. Well, I tell you one thing, man. We on here complaining about eating white bass, man. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. This joke ain't even a dog, man. Lord, man. Dog. And enjoying it, man. I wonder what kind of worms he got. Oh no, they can have that one. Yeah, man. Hey, I ain't with it. Well, I just want to see what y'all opinion was, man. I said I, I had talked to low. I said, man, who in the world eat a doggone dog, man? But I see it's a new thing now, man. We hunt dogs now, bro. Hey, y'all. One thing, one thing about it over there in China, but that, 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 they thing, boy. They got a whole yeah, street market where they just kill dogs and cut them up on the street. Man, ain't nobody that hungry, man. Can't be. But you know what? Though? Yeah. I guess it's easy for them because they, they just they breed them and they die. Yeah, they walk so, around in the street. You know what I mean? Right. So, not me. Not your boy. We can have that. Hey, hey, well, say, people, folk eat raccoons and they in the dog family. I agree, man. I ain't, I ain't like I say, if it got sharp teeth in his mouth, you safe around y'all with. Hey, who? Who said that? I ain't, I ain't know no raccoons in the dog, man. Man, ain't look like a dog, dog. Will, look. I will try one. <laughs> well, you might as well go and try some of that coyote, man. See what it's like. Huh? That thing ain't ball. That, 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 that coyote ball, man. <laughs> man, I tell you, man, ain't no way in the world I'm finna try. I don't even. Well, listen, man. Uh, man, please. It 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 it'll bother me to shoot a coyote, man, because it look too much like a dog, man. But I know it's necessary because they man. will kill your children, man. Your children small. I, listen to me. I, I would I would head shot a coyote any day. I I drop one. Why you I hate him so much? I I Why you hate him? So but I mean, I ain't the fact that I hate him, but it is it, to me it's open season on them all the time. So, and from what I heard, they they lose it and. They, they want them gone, so I hear it, Shadow. And they first, they first, they first to get good money for them pelts, man. Damn. Uh huh. That that ain't that ain't gonna happen. John Boyd said, "Uh, let me get that right." He said, twenty-four dollars for two pound of ground beef will be waiting on y'all. Video soon. <laughs> 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 Listen up. Long as it got beef in, I'm good. I'm good with. It. But the coyote, it got to go. All right, here it is, y'all. I don't know if you guys have been on on the Facebook channel, Facebook page recently, man. But uh, we got a uh, partner, Kedrick Moore, man. Kedrick say you want to hook up with her, there, look. What are you trying but to do? Huh? You trying to go fishing? Yeah, he been. He said something about uh, uh he knows some people that know my people. He know my wife because they from the old neighborhood. You know, a couple of my homeboys, man. They said they want to go fishing, man, but we ain't linked up yet. But it's going to be kind of hard now with my schedule. But uh, he dropped some video, not video, but some pictures on Facebook. You saw them pictures he dropped? No. Let me see what Pantel said. The Chinese restaurant out of town makes some dang good. Frog leg. Uh, you can have them frog leg too, homeboy. I don't want no frog, frog legs. I don't want no dog legs. <laughs> I saw frog leg one time, man. It was too, it was too fishy for me. Ah, that's all right, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with a chicken, bro. I tear chicken up. I stick with them. But um, 
Kendrick Moore dropped a vid, not a video, but a picture, man. And what this picture, what matter of fact, let me, let me put it on here because I actually got it on the, um, on the broadcast. Let me, let me, let me, uh, bring it out. Now, Kendrick, if you on here, man, this gonna do you a disservice, man, because uh, I couldn't get both of the pictures to come up. I actually pulled this picture off of another place, same one right here. Uh, but this is a Lake Oconee report. He didn't show exactly what it was. Maybe it's a, a lake map, man. But if you guys, I don't know if you guys can read this or not, but it's, it's definitely on the Facebook page. But what what did he what he uh, actually brought out was uh, this report actually gives you geographical locations at Lo Lake Oconee to find certain fish and find certain structure. I didn't know this, this map existed in paper copy you know when i looked for the digital copy i couldn't find it but he actually brought this thing out and uh on this on this particular page here it'll say area area c which which actually corresponds to a a, a, a point on the map on the flip side of this thing right and if you go to the c c i'm just speaking hypothetical because i can't really read it right here but just say It'll give you a geographical location on this on this map here, right? And you flip flip the map over, and it'll show you where it is on the lake, man. And I thought that was very interesting. He shared it with a lot of people on the uh, page, but he didn't get real detailed on where to, where to get the information from. Let me see. Uh, okay, that that's him on here. Now let me read a couple more. He said, "Our birds said they killed them to control the population because they have ten to fourteen and little." Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Either way, man, they kill them. They, they shouldn't be eating them, man. They should just go ahead and bury and be done with. Don't don't eat no dogs, y'all. Come on, now we better than that. Ked, Kedrick Moore said that's a lake map. Kedrick, in the um, comment, man, uh, tell the guy where you bought this map from, bro. Oh, Sammy say uh, Derek had a good met, good miss of fish. Yeah, man, he always putting that work in. Kedrick. Uh, if you can, drop a uh, comment and let the fellas know where you got that lake map from so they can go out there and purchase them. Because what I did was, uh, he said, our buddy said, you can find the digital copy to put it in the fish finder on the Hotspots website. You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to say sometime. Because when you go on there, man, you had to click through so much stuff, man, you actually lose where you are on that doggone website. It ain't just a one-click type deal to find that digital map, man. Now, I found Lake Sinclair. I'm going to share that with you guys tonight. But this map that he actually showed of Lake Oconee, it's a different style, man. Uh, it didn't give you uh, GPS waypoints. It just gave you a general location saying, Area C, you can find brush piles. Area C, you can find uh, crappy on uh down trees this type deal i thought it was very interesting man you know what i mean i don't really use that because i think uh, uh onyx got way more information you know i don't really need it to tell me you're gonna find crap here logo already know we see a down tree what's on that tree crap there you go i ain't i don't need nobody tell me a uh, crappy on some tree i know exactly what it is you know what i mean but this map right here, if you had never fished this lake, this would be a great tool to keep on your boat, man, to, uh, to put you in the right direction, man, especially, you know, like uh, I think I saw a picture of Tony Cole on Facebook said they was out there scouting the lake. This would be a great tool to you, man, to go out there and just shoot straight to a spot just to check it out on your graph, man. So, uh, Kedra say, Bad Pro in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Okay, there it is, y'all. Uh, if you got a, a Bass Pro Shop in your location, stop by there and ask him where can you get those maps from, man, because uh, the one he got, that, that's that got a lot of information on it, man. I'm talking about especially if you guys are, I ain't going to call y'all rookies, man, if you guys don't know the lake, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm a professional at Oconee as much as we go now, you know what I mean? We actually run that lake at night, what you say, Lope? All night long. Yeah, man, we ain't got no problem with that lake. It's easy to find no fish out there, man. But uh, I was gonna show you guys what I had. I was gonna uh, tell you guys what's up with this one. 
Uh, if you guys can see this, I'm, I'm gonna knock me and look down right quick so you guys have a better, better picture of, uh, of what's behind me. If you guys can see this picture right here, you can find this. It's a Lake Sinclair fish attractors map. Uh, if you guys have never looked it up or, or researched it, uh, what I do for you guys is I'll drop uh, a link to this map so you guys can go ahead and download it so you guys will have it. But what it is is it's a it's a map of Lake Sinclair, and if you look over here in that right column there, they got GPS uh, locations for all their fish attractors. Now that could be the DNR. Uh, man-made structure and it also could be submerged trees that actually attract fish naturally man but it actually has it where you can not only look at this map and scout it you know potential places that you may want to fish but it actually had those GPS location that you can actually plug uh, I don't know how easy it would be to plug it in your fish finder but you definitely can plug it in easy on, on, on Onyx and use that map as a, a a waypoint finder, man. Very, very easy, man. Let me put my boy back up here. Yeah. You guys got any questions about the map? Let me know some. Um, Jason say, find an app called Fish Brain. It's good. It's got it's good. Got uh, maps, and you can mark spot, keep them private, or make public. But you know what? I found out about that. Let me uh, put my thing up so I can see. Fish brain probably is a pretty good map, but uh, what it does is when a person catches a fish, he can mark that location using GPS through uh, Google Maps, and it, it'll log it for him in this app, right, for future purposes. Like if you want to try, uh, if he know he caught fish here before, he can come back to it through this app. But he can actually upload and share those apps to different people in that community. But I think this app isn't a free app so I, I'm not gonna recommend it highly because I'm all about getting that free stuff you know what I mean that stuff that you don't really need to pay for to get the full uh, the full use of it and I think fish brain actually to get that the meat of that app you are gonna have to pay for some of the um, the highlights on it. you ever use that look I, I, I had downloaded that one time but you know you can only do so much without paying yeah, so that's that's why I don't I don't really talk about it much. I've actually seen this uh, app several times before, but I never just um. I, I when I had it, I had it when it, when I back when I did have it. That was back when I had caught two ten pounders, and I had posted them up on there. But as far as just like using it to find fish, you, you can only do so much, man. Like I said, without without uh. Paying that monthly subscription. Yeah, that's what I say, man. But uh, shoot, man. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been but about two weeks for us, man. A week and a half, something like that. Since I've been able to go yeah. fishing, man. It's been I, I got them Jones, bro. Huh? Oh yeah. You see everybody posting up, posting their pictures, man. Yeah, man. I and then you, that. I watch YouTube. I watched a YouTube video last night, man. The man talked to Mark. Who to was it? Uh, what is his name? Ty, 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 Ty Pennington, something like that. Oh, okay. He's down in Florida. Yeah. So what's up, man? Are uh, we going to actually take a trip down the road, man? Are uh, we going to let this pandemic wear us to death, man? How we going to do that? How you hey, feel man, about I'm, that? I'm, I'm over the pandemic, man. I'm ready to take that trip, man. Where you want to go? Uh, Talcum or Crescent, you know. But I'm talking about we go to Talcum, man. I'm talking about night fishing now. Me too. So just we you gonna ride out there that morning, and then go fishing that night. Scout the lake out so we know where we are. We can we can ride down there that morning and, and get out there, do a little do a little uh what they call it, reconnaissance. Go chill, get all get our energy up, then hit it on hit it late on that night. We gonna stay or we gonna leave? You know what time we get off? Yeah. I mean, but it's two of us, so we feel like driving. We get back on the road. 
JoJo Ban say what boat ramps had the best catches lately? Um, we went to um, what was the last place we went? What name that place? Long Show. What Long Show? Yeah, Long Show. That boat ramp was full of people, man. But every time we go to Sugar yeah, Creek, man, it, it really ain't hard enough where to park or that. So it's hard to say which which one producing. You can go to Sugar Creek. I see Eddie Lewis over there all the time. You know, Crafty for Life, he's, he up, he's up under that bridge. They do well there. I mean, when you put in at the dock, man, you got this just big open open area. That it's not really deep water. It's, it's, I call it shallow water because it's probably about, what, 16 feet at the most. Folks catching a lot of crap in there. Actually, we hadn't even fished it at night. And I think we would do great, man, if we go, if we go get in the timbers out there. And just fish that thing at night. You know what, Lo? What you say, man? You know, Jason did say he was catching them in shallow water. I, mean, I say we go up there and hit them trees. Why about in 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 with this overcast? I'm pretty sure that's where they had them in some shallow water, man. Did you want to hit Sugar Creek, I, man, in them trees in that shallow water? Let's go for it. Y'all see how easy that is, man? Put a plan together. Go out there, make it a realization. Say, Casey Howell, any stragglers invited? <laughs> I have my own boat and truck. Listen here, man. Normally, we come in on Thursday. We always tell everybody what, look. Where are we, where are we going and what are we putting in it? Y'all come on, y'all coming. Yeah. The only thing about it is... Uh, I hate telling people a specific time because I'm gonna tell you right now we ain't gonna do them but break your heart, man. Cause uh, <laughs> your boy, <laughs> your boy over here, he ain't never on time, man. He man, said me, but it's him. The man, man telling a hot lie. That dude right there, man, he ain't never on time. This man, this man, all, this man I, I done been late a few times, but <laughs> three times got me beat. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, tell her how it was, man. We went fishing. Uh, when was me and you in New York when I know We went one night. We were late, man. I'm talking about, man. We were like embarrassingly late. And uh, New York was out there waiting on them. Huh? I ain't been with New York. Oh, that was me and Lynn. That was me and Mo Fishing. Yeah. yeah. I was dealing with Mo Fishing. We were late, man. And, uh, Man, how about we out there in the middle of Sugar Creek Lake talking about New York, New York. <laughs> Fuck, we're looking at us, man. And then, that I know, here's what I say. Django. <laughs> 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 hey, my forehead died, man. And uh, I ain't had no other way to call this guy. And the thing about it is, people, y'all won't believe me unless I tell you. I had been talking to New York from the time I left home till I got to Eaton, Georgia. And I swear, when I got to Eaton, Georgia, guess what happened? My phone died, man. So it was no way for me to talk to this guy, man, when I got to the dock. So I was like, this guy was waiting on me, man. I don't know where he is. So, man, I didn't want to be a sky and I didn't want to be no liar. So I went out there, man. I just, I did, I did the cat call. I ain't had to do it. Cat call. No, y'all. Your boy was out there too. Uh, crappy for life. He was out there under the bridge. I was looking, but your boy looked bad, boy. I was country. But I had to do what I had to do, man. Tony Cole said, on time is when you get there. That's right. <laughs> 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 but yeah, man, whenever we go, man, everybody, as far as I'm concerned, everybody invited, man. We can't catch all these fish, man. And, um, but I will say this. This is the disclaimer. Y'all just heard me. Low. Uh, Jason said he was catching fish in 12 foot of water. I said we had never fished the shallow side of Sugar Creek. I said you want to try them in the in the, in the uh, tree? Low said run it. We ain't never fished that before now. So it ain't like we finna go to a honey hole and then we finna just go try a spot. Cause he don't he don't even eat he don't eat fish and. I ain't got no freezer to keep fish in, so I, the fish that I catch, I have to eat them. So I got fish in there right now. So I ain't in no emergency situation to keep no fish. So I'm going out there just to learn and have fun. 
uh, Kendrick Moore say, God willing. That's right. I always say that, man. You know, we're going to go fishing. God willing. I don't know about that creek don't rise still. All I worry about is God willing. If he let, he allowed to go, that's where we going to go. But I'm it's like this right here, man. I am going to make plans to go. You know what I mean? But it's up to him whether or not I make it. You know what I mean? Friday night. Ah. What we looking like, man? Saturday, Sunday, what? Man, we looking more on Saturday, I believe, though. Yeah, I got a lot of paperwork to do anyway, man. I might well just take me a uh, business day off, man, because I, I got a couple of, couple of things I got to get squared away. I might well take me some union time off. Uh, let me see. Some called Red here. Jason Town Gang did. Hot Maps. I never use Hot Maps, but there y'all go. There's several applications out there. Y'all can use to search these fish out, man. But uh, the best way to do it is put your boat in the water, turn that fish finder on, and look at that screen and see what it say and put that work in. Did it. I got one, cub. Bring them to me. I will hold them for you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's funny, though, look. If Diddy would get off his butt and meet us out there at the dock sometime, how many feet would he take on? He'll be a half a fella, I can tell him that much. Cause, hey, look, I don't care about giving you my fish, man. If you, if you need some fish, man, your family finna eat some fish, bro. Even if I even if I catch some slabs, man, I'll give them to you. Cause I, sit here, I ain't going to even sit here and tell you a lot of that. Every time I bring fish home, man, they make it to the freezer. <laughs> at low, at the home bar, man. They come on my house sometimes, man. Like, man, you let them fish go bad. I be so embarrassed, man. But it's the high be sometimes, ain't that right, home bar? Man, I done, I done left some in the cool of myself, too, man. Yeah. And I, well, I tell you, when I, when I get home, if don't nobody call about them fish that night and say they tell me to get them that morning, I don't be worried about them, man. Kids, I will post people because I know I won't come back empty handed. Oh, I like to help, bro. Put that work in. Uh, check it out. Web say, I'll be hitting Black Shield Saturday night. I wonder what them Billing Boys do when they went down to uh, Black Shield the other weekend, man. I ain't, I ain't here. You know, I've been working. I ain't been keeping up, man. Uh, they probably went and told them up, man. What you reckon? Well, they went to a new spot, or they just they just went down there trying something out. Uh, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he had he had a spot that he that, that he was going to try. It. Mm. Well, I say he going fishing Saturday, man. Black shear. I can't make it black shear Saturday, man. What about you? No, nah, I can't either. Yeah. Well, we going to Coney, man. We going to go to Old Coney, man. Uh, uh, we gonna drop a video. The next video we gonna drop gonna be uh setting up for tight. Uh, what you call it? Nighttime what? <laughs> nighttime pipeline. Yeah, we are gonna do that video right now, man, and uh, show you guys the proper way to set that thing up, man, and get them get that that, that vulture set going on them. Get them them vultures circling your boat where you ain't got to put. You ain't, you know what putting that work in in is sitting there chilling. Talking, cause you know you gonna catch some fit. <laughs> That's putting your work in. We gonna let y'all get set up like that right now, man. But uh, I don't know, man. That's all I got, bro. Um, you guys are just showing up, man, to the scene. Uh, we still ain't definitive on what day exactly we gonna be out there, man. But I tell you what, I will do. Uh, what you say, Lope? Drop it on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys are on Instagram, check us out, DB Crappy Fishing. And uh, I'll let you know by Friday where we're going uh, and about what time we're going we gonna to show up. Because I'm going to tell you right now, we're going uh, to be there. Whatever the time is, it's going to be ish. <laughs> it's going to be close, but it ain't going to be on time. I'm telling you right now. So uh, if you guys are... Uh, Wanted to join us on a fishing excursion, man. Hit us up, DB Crappy Fishing Instagram. And uh, I'll drop the info right there, man. Uh, and definitely, 
if you guys are on Facebook, I'll let you know what's up on Facebook. You know, that's home right there. So, uh, All right. That's it. You got anything else for him, Buff, uh, Liberal, before we go? Nah, that's it, man. They'll be looking, they'll be looking for that information to drop on them Instagram channel, man, and we'll let y'all know what day, what time. That's right, man. With that being said, I'm your boy. Y'all vote. A.K.A. Django 3000. And I'm low. You're safe, Hey, man. Y'all keep on fishing, man. We're going to get up with you guys, man. I'll see you guys next week, man. And definitely, man, if you guys are interested, hit us up on Instagram, man. we let you know. Come on, go fishing with us, man. We out of here, man.